Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be reviewing Amphibia Season 3 Episode 8A called Hollywood Hop Hop and later today I'll be doing the second half of Episode 8 called If You Give a Frog a Cookie. I have a clip for Hollywood Hop Hop as you can see right here not for If You Give a Frog a Cookie. But I also plan on doing episode 9, which is the mid-season finale, and um, that's called Froggy Little Christmas, and I do have a clip for that. Um, I, I think I'm also going, if I have time, I want to get the... Episode titles done for episodes 10 through 18 Because um, uh, Before I get to my reasoning, I also want to say I reached 47 subscribers. I was at 46 for a while. I'm at 47. So Three more then I reached 50 and then I'm gonna do my 50 subscriber celebration so yeah, it's getting exciting. So thank you so much for my 47th subscriber. And I, I really appreciate it. You know, it means the world to me. And you know, wonder, was it Amphibia that drew you in? Was it the Owl House? I, I asked the same question. You know, Big City Greens, Secrets of Silver Springs, The Ghost of Mon McGee, my movie review for Sonic 2, all my, my movie trailer reactions, Doctor Strange 2, um, Sonic 2. Um, teaser trailer for Thor Love, Love and Thunder. Whatever it might be, I'm glad that you decided to subscribe. Another thing I wanted to mention is that the reason why I kind of want to do the episode house is because today, actually today because I'm recording this at 10 o'clock at night, and so this will be able to post actually on today, um, on Saturday. The season three finale, but not only that, the series finale is the same thing for Amphibia. Um, you know, got, uh, you know, it, I guess, posted, I guess it, you can say, um, it, it happened live on, on TV, basically. And I watched it, and I'm not spoiling anything. This isn't a spoiler warning or anything, but I just want to say... Ah, uh, it's, it, it's heavy. A lot, a lot of stuff happens. And, uh, we're obviously not there because we're still in season 3A. We're, we're getting closer though. But, um, and I always feel like this, the same thing, this big, um, and I'm not even like you know, faking it. I mean, that felt a little thing because I just did like a couple seconds ago, so that felt like a little bit more, more natural. But um, yeah, um, I I felt the same thing for the Gravity Falls, you know, series finale. I felt that with the teenagers, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, ah, there was like a lot of. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series, like different spinoffs and stuff like that. So, um, I know it premiered on Nickelodeon. So if you can, because I don't want to spoil anything in case anyone's watching it, it doesn't want any spoilers. And I, I forgot what it's, it's exactly called because again, there's different versions. So, um, you know, with that, um, Adventure Time, uh, what's there? Was there anything else? I'm not sure if anyone watches the show, but um, Last Man Standing, that was another one. Um, yeah, and when like the not just when the season ends, but the whole series, you just have a feeling of. I don't even know how to explain it, especially without spoiling anything. How to explain it? But and I obviously this show isn't just about reviews and reactions I always even though it's not in the title I like to talk about background stuff if I can and that includes of what I watched like I think last time on my review I mentioned I was watching Spider-Man 
So that's why the, the, the review was coming out late. And the, the movie was great. I'm not spoiling anything, but it was great. Um. So, uh, yeah, if you guys get a chance to watch it or if you're waiting for Disney Plus or um, anything like that, you know, give it a watch and oh my. But that's not what this review is about. <laughs> we're, we're, we're still in fun land. We're, we're, we're in fun land. <laughs> uh, Hollywood, but you know what I mean. Um, sorry, I just can't stop thinking about it, but I want to do this review early so I can get episode 9 done, because that's a double episode, so, I mean, double segment episode, so I want to get this done early. I guess, um, so, yeah, we're in Hollywood Hop Pop, um, and first things first, we see this Hollywood sign, and... And look, um, Hollywood tours, and, um, and I want to play this right here. Welcome to Hollywood. Impressive, right, HP? Um, so I just kind of wanted to play that music, and we saw, like, the, the, um, I'm sorry if I butchered the name. I think it's called the Great Chinese Theater. Because I, I know it as the Great Movie Ride at um when it was at Epcot, but now it's turned into the the rail the railroad attraction for um Mickey Mickey's Runaway Railway. I haven't been on it yet, but um I want to go on it. It seems like a fun ride um, because I've seen um videos of it in POVs. So um here's the thing. Remember when Ann and Sprig saw the Hollywood sign? We actually just saw it. And they were like, eh. You heard like Sprig's birthday in the episode Sprig's birthday. Why are they impressed now? Unless they're faking it for Hop Hop. But one, why are you lying to him? And two, it doesn't really make any sense. And you seem amazed. So, mm, I don't know. That's my first complaint. For, for Anne and Sprig. I understand Polly because Polly wasn't there. Polly was doing her own thing that episode after celebrating Sprig's happy birthday. And also Sprig's 11. You know, um, I, I know I mentioned that the previous episode, but I just want to mention it again. He is, you know, living in himself as 11 years old, if that makes any sense. But Anne's like, oh, impressive, right, HP? And then he's like, your world actually respects actors? And and it's like, respects them? They treat actors as gods. Oh my goodness, look at this. And look, look at this Samson, dude. And Hop Hop's like, my acting career didn't go so well in, in Amphibia. But maybe I have a chance here. A shot. And it's like, well, it's possible. I love it. Spriggs and Polly's expressions is like, yeah, he, he ran off. And it's like, Mr. X saw your face. He, you know, you were off your disguise. It, it fell off. And Mr. X is after all of us. You can't just go do willy nilly. Paul's like, he ran off. And Hop Hop's like, sorry, Ann, I gotta go. Oh, no, I'm sorry. He was like, Hollywood, here I come. I love this. And it's like, oh my goodness. And she's like, you know what? I don't have the energy for this. Which could be double meaning of. The power is draining from her, and she just hasn't recuperated yet, and she hasn't been getting enough sleep. Hop Hop just runs in front of, um, I guess these two know each other, because we've seen them both, oh, or maybe, I mean, strangers are nice when you ask this, um, uh, not all the time, but usually when you say, oh, hey, can you take a photo of me? And usually the person's nice, so yeah, sure, no problem. So either they, they probably know each other, but... What was her name? It was in the Domino episode. Um, Emily. I want to say Jeremy, but I don't know why. I I know I know his his boyfriend was his name was Tyler, but I forgot his name. I don't know. He has purple hair, and he's like, hey, we hop up this runs in front of it. Jesus, and he, he just. Slams this guy? Hop up, what are you doing? Hmm. 
and um Hop Hop accidentally bumps into um this guy and he's like, Oh my goodness, I'm so so sorry because Hop Hop's a nice dude. And this guy and he looks like Hop Hop. What the heck? He said, like, Oh, it's okay. It happens all the time at these foggy auditions. He's like, Oh, auditions. Um, are are you all actors? And he's like, Oh yeah, guilty as charged. Um I'm still waiting for my big break though. My name is um Humphrey Westwood. And then you know, um Hop Hop's like l l like oh like my name's Hopadiah Planter. And then um Humphrey's like um I I thought I knew all the senior actors and um like are are you from out of town? I, I want to play this right here. He's like, you out of town? Yeah, way out of town. <laughs> he's way out of town. And he's like, S Sacramento? And if you don't know, that's the city in California. And this lady comes in. Um, and Maybe she's like the audition director, maybe? We don't know exactly her, her job. They didn't mention it. She's like, oh, Humphrey Westwood. Oh, are you him? And um, let's see. Humphrey Westwood, hopefully working for you. Occupation. 68 years alive. Okay, 68. Born hard and raised to the rhythm of Burbank's beating heart. I've learned to... I'm assuming this is fundamental? Because it was cut off. Hmm. I know people say, oh, ha, um, Hop Hop looks like Humphrey. He does, but are you guys blind? He's orange. And also he's wearing a hat. Well, I guess it had to simply make a difference, but, but anyway, um, also even the no nose, the nose looks similar. It does also kind of look different. So, eh, I can kind of see it, but is it, oh, what, what can, do we look alike? Ha ha. <laughs> and I love Humphrey. He's so nice. I love, he's like, oh, he's going to be like an enemy. He's like undercover working for the FBI. I was like, when I was reading that and looking at Humphrey, I was like, oh, please. No, no, break my heart. Spoilers, he isn't. That, that's good. He's like, Hopadiah, take my place. And then he's like, oh, Humphrey, I couldn't do that. You know, you're waiting for your big break. And then Humphrey's like, um, oh, please, I'd like, you know, take, take my place. Like, you know, let this be a warm welcome from Hollywood, from me to you. And he's like, oh, if you insist. And, you know, um, he goes in. The spotlight goes on him. He's reading the line. And you have this girl. Um, She's like, maybe she's the audition director. Who knows? Uh, look at her hair. She's like, okay, you put on the cream. You put on the cream and you say your line. You put the cream on your elbow. I guess it's elbow cream. He's like, whoa, wow, great. And she's like, stop and to turn off the spotlight. Oh, man. Like, you are literally perfect, but that line you did, it was just awful. I was like, oh, jeez, lady. And obviously, Hop Hop's like, say what? Obviously, it blows everyone's hair, and um, I want to play this right here. I absolutely love that. He's, he's like, say what? He's a catchphrase. She's like, everyone, we have a new catchphrase. You got the part. And everyone's clapping for him. And, um... I, I, I'm I'm just going to leave that right there. And obviously, and I, guess they, I guess the tour bus went all over Hollywood. And it's pretty big. So that's why they kind of met up with Hop Hop later. And he's like, oh, where are you? Oh, Hop Hop, is that you? And... You know, um, they mistook, okay, the lady mistook Hop Hop for Humphrey, and Anne and the planters mistook Humphrey for Hop Hop. Like, come on, he's not orange. <laughs> and he's like, oh, Hop Hop, are you, you him? He's like, oh, sorry, sir. And he's like, oh, it's okay, like, what are you kids? You, you, um, were you looking for someone? Oh, yeah, we're looking for our grandpa. 
And he's like, oh, he's inside. And then, um, you know, um, and then the lady's like, everyone go home. He got the part. You know, aw. And then he's like, oh, congratulations, Hapadai. I knew you could do it. And he's like, Humphrey, I I'm such an idiot. I took your place. You could have gotten the part. And um, he's like, you got the part. That's what matters. And he's like, oh, you know, I, I waited like 48 years for my big break. Um, like, what's we'll another year? And, and um, you know, um, obviously Hop Hop's like 48 years. That, 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 that's hard. Obviously Anne's kind of, Hop Hop, what you did was reckless. But this seems to be like a small, you know, thing. So... You, you know, it should, it should be fine. And obviously, Anne's eating so cereal on the couch. And it's like, try crack a lacking um, elbow cream. And then, do you see Hop Hop on screen? You see Hop Hop on screen. Say what? And it's Hop Hop. Um, Anne's like spitting her cereal. Hop Hop. And he's like, what's happening, Anne? And it's like, look, you're on screen. What did I say about making a low profile? And he's like, why am I on the magic box I did that play for. I haven't complained about that either. The director didn't do a good job of explaining this to Hop Hop or Hop Hop just wasn't listening. Like, you should have known that this was going to go to TV and this was like a commercial. Like, like you know, or Humphrey should have explained it. Someone didn't do a good job. I'm not taking a point out for that because... Especially when you're acting and with doing like an audition for something, you should know everything. Doesn't matter. You should. Well, okay. Maybe it's not like for like a whole movie series. You're gonna know what happens next, but of what character you're playing, especially if it's gonna lead to something you might not want to do, you should know about it. Like, like you know, especially if it's gonna go on TV. You have stage right. You should. You should know. No question about it. So. Hop Hop should have known or Hop Hop wasn't listening, so eh. He's like, You were filming for you were filmed for a commercial and Hop Hop's like, You lost me, and he's like she's like, This is not low profile. I was like, Yeah, Mr. X is gonna see this and obviously the Boon Choice, um, they weren't much in this episode. They were just filming for like a couple lines and which is fine. They were played a, a big role in many episodes, so it's fine. And he's like, Oh, do we live with someone famous? Can should we Start charging rent, and Mr. Boon was like, "Should we, should we be charging rent?" But he doesn't do it. I think it was like a joke or something. And um, and obviously um, they're like, "Okay, we we gotta fix this." And um, and Anne's like, "We gotta do something because Mr. X is gonna see like this is bad." And obviously Mr. Boon Choi and Stad's like, "Anne, come on, calm down. Let's breathe for a second. He's a highly intelligent FBI agent." Like, like you know, a, a federal employee. He doesn't have time for TV. We see Mr. X, he's, like, taking care of the frogs that Anne, what well, um, Mr. Boon Choi left for him as, like, a distraction. He's, like, feeding them. He didn't, like, return to the, he didn't, like, return to the pet store. Or maybe it was, like, non-refundable, but he could have played it for someone else, but he's taking care of it. Oh, that's pretty nice. He's, like, taking off his gloves. And he's, like, he's even, like, feeding it flies. And he's, like, just because I'm a federal employee does not mean I can't, can't watch Judge Judy. Okay. And he's, like, it's the, it's the commercial. And, um, do your elbows crack? Say what? And, obviously, Mr. X spits in his screen. Ew. And he's, like, Jenny, we got him. We gotta go to Hollywood to, we, to, to get this guy. Because he recognizes Hop Hop. And, um... Oh, you know, and he's like, we, we got him for reals. And, um, they went to go take, um, Hop Hop's commercial down to talk to the, the director. So they go back to Hollywood. This, this happened, like, what, overnight? This wouldn't happen. Because, um, editing stuff, this like, takes time. You see him on billboards. You see him on the buses. You see mugs. You see t-shirts. This all takes time. So uh, I'm, I'm not buying it. He's like, Hop Hop's like, I'm on a t-shirt. And Anne says something, Anne. I, I like continuity, but sometimes Amphibia, it does a good job, but sometimes it irritates me. Because Anne's the one who said to Hop Hop, like, oh, Hop Hop just said the best sitcom catchphrase. Now, Hop Hop's doing it, and for all of Earth, of, of East L.A., 
in Eastern LA. Now, Anne's like, you have a catchphrase? Question mark? And, um, so like, Anne, you're the one who mentioned it. Whatever. And obviously, everyone's excited, and you know, Polly's like, Hollywood, more like Pollywood, and um, you know, Sprague is looking at some t-shirts, maybe he's gonna buy something. He doesn't, but it was a thought. And, you know, they're just kind of thinking, and obviously, um, he, obviously, um, Anne gets a call on her phone. <laughs> Don't do this. I guess Hop Pop gave Anne's phone number to the people, but for, like, pe people to to call because Anne's not in the phone book so you can just call to get Hop Hop like it's kinda like Anne's like Hop Hop's agent because this director hey HP is like no I'm not HP he's my grandpa well, who are you? Like he's my grandfather and he's like I want to talk to your grandpa a miss um like you know oh my name's Rick something oh you're the director of Fumigator 1, 2, and 4 I was like what happened to 3? and um or it might have been 4 and he did 5 who knows and he's like, oh, I want to talk to your grandpa, kid. And it's like, and then Hoppa just grabs the phone out of Anne's hand and like squishes her face. It's like, don't do that. He's like, it's me, Hoppa Dai. I'm HP. I'm, I'm, I'm Hoppa Dai. Only me. He's like, oh, okay, HP, calm down. He's like, I want to talk to you. You'd be perfect for the next Fumigator movie. Fumigator 6 already in the works. Great. We're, we're just Terminator. And it's like, you, you'd be perfect. And Hoppa's like, I just come in and I just get the part. Which I'm like, mm. they didn't mean come in and do an audition, but I don't think they meant that. But they did an audition up in the water tower. They go to a water tower. So, and that, that was kind of better communication, please. And the hop up's like, say what? And everyone's like, it's a, it's a, it's the um, catchphrase guy. They're all going next to him. How does everyone know? Whatever. It's the same thing issue I had with Spider Sprig where everyone's, knows about Frogman, and is all over the internet. He went to like a nighttime show. It happened for a day, like two days, whatever. Um, <laughs> um and basically, Hop Hop's like, um, Anne's like, no Hop Hop, I'm sorry. But he's like, it's too good to pass up, Anne. Obviously Mr. X is there to go get Hop Hop. He's on his wheelies. Jenny, I found him. We, we, we got him for real, L let's go. And obviously, you know, Jenny's the same thing, but I guess, Maybe he or she typed, we're on our way. And um, Anne's obviously hiding behind the garbage cans with Sprick and Polly holding them. Um, because, you know, Mr. X is after Hop Hop. They're obviously following them. They get to the water tower. Hop Hop goes through the gate because he's allowed in because he's like a special guest. And Sprick and Polly are hiding behind a golf cart um, like on the backside. Mr. X, Hop Hop lo looks at, at a mirror, sees Mr. X is following him. Obviously, Hop Hop's smart, so he's gonna run away. Okay, good. He ran into inside the. Excuse me, inside like the gates of this big company that probably direct made Fumigator, and uh, he went to a golf cart. And that's from the trailer where you see Hop Hop in the golf cart. That's from this episode. Oh, that's pretty cool. You see uh, Mr. X in a golf cart, and then Anne's like, "No, Grandpa, Hop Hop," and he's like, "Who are you?" Paul's like, "No questions, Earth Man," and she just. Pushes him off the cart and springs like driving. Oh my frog, what am I doing? And um, Polly, don't don't do that. But they're driving, and um, Hop Hop's trying to dodge Mr. X. Mr. X is following them. We see a different shows and movies we've seen between season one, season two, season three, which is kind of cool. We see um, what was it? I forgot what it was. Oh, oh we see um, Tarantula Lad, which is pretty cool, where Sprig and Mr. Boon Choi love that movie. So we get to see that. We see the special, expect, special effects. Hop Pop's like, holy smokes! Because there's a bunch of smoke around. Mr. X is trying to dodge the, the missiles and stuff like that. And it's, it's pretty cool. And your yeah, acting scene. And you get to see like, the strings and stuff. That's pretty cool. And, um, um, oh, right, they go to Suspicion Island. Sprig, uh, like, stops the car. I was like, oh my god, Sprig, what are you doing? He's like, Suspicion Island isn't real. And then Paul's like, duh, Sprig. And Anne's like, don't be so gullible, Sprig. And aw. <laughs> um, they drive. They get to this, um, butler show. I forgot what it was called. A, a Lady Ferguson or whatever. And then they're like, 
And this British person has like a country accent. Wait, your accent is real? Anne was saying. And Sprig's like, who's gullible now, Anne? And Polly's obviously laughing at Anne, which is pretty funny. And it's like, whatever. And they're obviously chasing. And Hop Hop, like, accidentally crashes into a palm tree. The palm tree blocks Mr. X's way. So Mr. X has to go the long way around. Gives Hop Hop some time. Um, But that means Anne, Sprig, and Polly are blocked too. Maybe to find another way around. Oh yeah, because he don't come back until later. Hop up, gets out of the golf cart, all dizzy. He bumps into Humphrey, whose day job is like the janitor. I'm like, oh, I feel so bad for him. And he's like, oh, looks like you found my day job, Hopadiah. Oh my goodness, Humphrey, I'm so sorry for bumping, bumping into, but you're a janitor? Yeah. I'm sorry if I'm talking pretty fast, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I'm a janitor. Like, you know, it's my day job, and it is what it is. He's like, w why are you here, old, old friend? And he's like, Oh, I have a job with Mitch. I mean, Mitch Harmon or something. I, I don't know. Um, he said, oh, wow, the director of Fumigator with, with Mitch Harmon? Bravo, my friend. What are you waiting for? You can't keep him waiting. Like, you know, that's, that's really bad. And obviously, Hop Hop's like, Humphrey, he's waiting for you. I love this. I wish I could play this clip, but it's not available. What are you going to do? He's like, obviously, Humphrey's like, w what are you talking about? Hop Hop's like, the reason why I'm here in the first place, why I was offered this, is because of you and your kindness. It's time for me to give the favor. Obviously, Hoppa also mentioned, I, I forgot when it was, but it was, since, it was before the scene. He mentioned, am I deserving of this? Sorry. Am I, de am I deserving of this? Am I taking Humphrey's chance of becoming a star? Oh, yeah, that, that's when Hop Up said, like, oh, am I, am I, am I on the t-shirt? Um, so it was around then. And, um, and then Humphrey's like, are you sure? He said, yeah, I'm sure. Come on. You got to go up there. And I'm like, okay. And obviously, um, you have Mr. X and Hop Up hides. They got Mr. X. They get to Humphrey. He's trying to pull on Humphrey. So it's Mr. X who can't be a dummy. One, he's not orange. Two, he's not wearing the same outfit. And also, oh, also, obviously, Mr. X, not Mr. X. Uh, Mr. Harmon said to Humphrey Westwood, Congratulations, Mr. Planter. So is Humphrey taking Hot Pop's name? No one really mentioned this. Like, uh, like you know, when the, the episode came out a, a long time ago. Um, no one really mentioned this. So I'm kind of thinking, did he just take Hot Pop's name and Hot Pop just gave it to him for the use on Earth? I don't know how I feel about that exactly. Is it false identity? Did Humphrey just change his name altogether? I don't know. It wasn't greatly explained, so. Officer Miss X is like, it's not a false nose. No, this can't be happening. Miss X failed again. Haha. -ha. He's like, oh, call, call off the red alert. Miss X was wrong again. And Officer Miss X is like, mm. you see a vein throbbing. Jenny, I need a lot of ice cream, girl. A lot of ice cream. And to drive off in the golf, in the golf cart. Obviously, Anne's like, oh, Miss X didn't get you, Hop Hop? Like, nope, he didn't get me. I gave up the audition to someone more deserving. You obviously Humphrey shaking hands with Mitch Harmon. I'm, I'm, I know it's Mitch. I forgot the last name. Obviously Humphrey's like, thank you. A wiggle whisper. Hop Hop's like way down. How long, how high is this tower? He couldn't hear him. Whatever. And obviously Hop Hop winks and he's like, I can't be stuck in the past. I can't be holding on to something that just isn't mine. And I need to start seriously protecting the things I do have and the things I do love. Obviously, he hugs his grandkids, obviously, and he's like, bravo, HP, bravo. <laughs> he's like, oh, this is gave me, I didn't like this because it kind of cuts away from the whole, I'm going to start protecting you and not get into danger with Mr. X and stuff like that. He's like, I don't even realize my real passion. And he's like, oh my goodness, you don't mean, um, and Hoppa cut, cuts her off. That's right, and I'm going to be a director because that's a real power. And, and kicks him off. And there's a dun 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 dun, and you see a big the end in gold, with this big spirally effect. And obviously the planters are in the golf cart and hop ups is somewhere in the ground, and that's the end of the episode. Um, what should I rate this episode? The, the first half. Um. Hmm.
sorry, I'm still thinking of myself. There's like a lot of details. Um, I give this a seventy percent. It was good, but I was kind of leaning towards maybe sixty-five percent. It was kind kind of leaning towards that where I was like it was a D plus, but I kind of thought about it. It's like seventy point zero 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 zero. It's like a straight C, like like basic C. Like it it was good. It was just like a lot of stuff where I'm like, how did that all the information about hot pop spread? Um. Um, the whole thing confusing hop up with um, Humphrey that was also another thing um, yeah so like you know there was this a bunch of stuff but it was so good I, I still had a good time with it it was just and also hop up this ruining that moment where he's like Oh, I'm going to protect you guys from now on. But I want to be a director. Uh, come on. I think it could have been a little bit higher if that was fixed. And also Hop Hop hearing um, Humphrey, like from the from the water tower, when Hop, uh, Humphrey said thank you in a whisper. Like Hop Hop, you couldn't hear him. Whatever. Um, I th but I still thought it was good. But it was, it was almost a D plus. First okay episode of season three. But it was so good. And yeah, everyone, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, give me a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, don't forget to share the video, and I will see you guys there today for the second half of episode 8 of Amphibia Season 3 called If You Give a Frog a Cookie. And just a clip for that, I'm sorry. But, uh, uh, but sorry, I, I want to say again that, um, Thank you so much for my 47th subscriber. Um, it means a lot to me. I really appreciate it. And hopefully we'll get to 50 subscribers. And I'll see you guys later for um, If You Give a Frog a Cookie. Okay. I'll see you then. All right. Bye.